Question 12 then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go. We've got transformations of functions, a very simple function, little straight line, and very simple transformations. If that's f of x, for the first part, this is, must be two marks, there's two marks, you have to drop it down by a certain amount, and then just put in its absolute value, and here you have to double it, and then give its absolute value for four marks. Right, what's this first one? f of x, which is this simple line, has to drop down c, so it's already c below, so it's going to go down to negative, if that's c, it's going to go down to negative 2c. This is before applying this, remember. And at the same time, of course, because it's going to maintain its orientation, it'll have to pass through 2c. So I'll put in this just dotted just now. So that would be the inner part, it dropped down c, and the absolute value means any negative parts, become positive parts. So instead of going through negative 2c, it'll go through 2c. So now you can put it in properly. So that's the first one. Now what about the second one? The absolute value of double f of x. Well, forget the absolute value just now. If you double all the coordinates, that means anything on the x-axis will stay where it is, so it's going to stay at c. But of course, doubling it means it will again drop down to negative 2c. Use dotted lines to show that, that first part looking like this, and then the absolute value means any negative portions become positive. So if it's going through negative 2c, it'll go through 2c again.